Hey everyone, it's Dave here. I just wanted to show you quickly how to download the sound library for GarageBand on an iPad. So first of all, just launch the GarageBand app and click on the plus up in the top right hand corner to start a new track. A couple of ways to get there. You can uh, go to Live Loops and scroll across and then click on the sound library. Or you can go into tracks and then flick through the menus till you get to sound library. So both of those will get you to the same place, which is this launching page here. And this page will show you all the sound effects that you can download in the sound library. So there's quite a few and they've done a really good job of uh, updating this regularly too. So please check in here from time to time because they do update more sounds. So uh, if you click on one, for example, uh, this is the percussion pack. You can press the preview and get a bit of an idea as to what that sounds like and then you can download it if you like the idea of that. Uh, then you can go up to manage packs and you can see uh, all the installed packs so the, the total downloads about just over a, a gig and if you don't like the sound of one after downloading it you can obviously rem remove it uh, just by pressing edit and uh, get rid of it if it's something that's taking up the space on your iPad. So that's basically how you download them. I've already got them all downloaded, but um, yeah, you just pretty much tap and then hit download and you'll be able to have those available in the sound library. Let's just go across here to give you a bit of an example of how they work. So let's go to say Moving Machine Sound Library, click on that. And you'll notice that um, there's only uh, what, five machines in this sound pack, but uh, you got the variety of things like a car, uh, things like a train, I believe. And right along the row there is all the sounds that are relating to a train. Oh, if we go back up. So yeah. They're all the different uh, sounds that relate to each of those machines. And then you can obviously work out how you're going to use those in your uh, audio or in your films or any other GarageBand projects. Uh, those sound files become available for you to use and can really enhance the finished product. So that's how you download and use the sound library for uh, GarageBand on iPad.